Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session, I am going to demonstrate how a DevOps engineer can perform health check of physical system hosting EC2 instance. So friends, uh, how it works at Amazon EC2 layer communicates with hypervisor and hypervisor if you see this is a particular layer hypervisor is our physical system. So what may happen your EC2 instance may get rebooted if there are some issues in physical system like this particular layer. So you can perform health check. Friends why this health check is important let's say your EC2 instance gets rebooted which is not a plant maintenance from Amazon or from your side you want to find out reason you may always uh, raise case with Amazon or your OS vendor but at your end you can uh, primarily check the reason whether that is due to physical host having some issue or that may some different so I am going to demonstrate how you can easily check that so friends uh, we go two ways one is uh, using Amazon command line interface and second is using Amazon uh, management console which is graphical way and friends uh, to do this task I'm going to use uh, AWS CloudWatch service so let me demonstrate how we can do it uh, command line I have already opened a session to my AWS management server this server got my AWS account key so I am I can communicate with uh, Amazon CLI gateway so friends uh, here to list out the metrics which are related to CloudWatch EC2 namespace you can use this command AWS CloudWatch is a service name list metrics the command which I'm running these are the switches name switch AWS slash EC2 output I'm just formatting in table and piping it to more so I can explain this okay so these are the metrics available for EC2 instance so these are related to EC2 instance and uh, one particular metrics which can check uh, physical system health. let me show you that when it comes I'm just pressing enter continuously here here okay so friends uh, this is the one system check failed underscore system so this particular metrics to check the physical systems health okay so how to use it friend uh, to do so I have already kept a command ready but uh, I want to explain you how it works AWS is the CLI AWS command cloud which is the service get metric statics so that's a basically function inside uh, this cloud service and here metrics name as I explained this is the matrix which is used to get uh, physical systems health and here start time is the start time this is in UTC basically and this is the end time and this is the period uh, or like where I will be checking uh, physical health state uh, of uh, physical platform and period is 300 here 300 mean that's 300 seconds it means 5 minute interval namespace as I explained this is for AWS EC2 if you go to any different service where for which you want to check health status let's say EBS or EFS you can uh, use that particular service here so right now I'm concentrated concentrating on EC2 and uh, statics maximum maximum mean it will tell me what is the maximum value it went to dimension and name is equal to instance ID and value I have just entered uh, instance ID of the instance for which uh, I'm going to check physical health here pressing enter okay if you see uh, it gave me output and all the outputs are with 5 minute interval and uh, 1345 1340 1310 sometimes it displays like this I'm not sure how we can uh, set the time interval I tried to explore but I am not able to find some more information but here in command line way that's a way if you see on all occasions maximum is 0.0, .0. so friends there are two possible values for health status one is 0, .0, 0.0 one is 1.0 
0.0 mean your physical system is functioning normal or you can say it's healthy if that is 1.0 it means physical platform got some issue i'm repeating friends 0.0 mean your physical system is functioning properly and healthy 1.0 mean physical system got some issue so that's easy friends that's a command line way if you see here in this interval or the start and end time between that start and end time it is functioning normally so that was the command line way and let me open session where i can explain how you can do same thing in uh, aws management console i'm clicking on services here i'm selecting cloudwatch after selecting cloudwatch this service uh, dashboard is loaded I'm just clicking on browse metrics because this is a metrics here as I said I got three services so I got EC2 EBS and EFS if you got more services configured you can uh, or it will be displayed here I am clicking on EC2 because that's CT survey and here I got 14 metrics I'm clicking here now as I said uh, this particular metrics to check physical is this one status check fail system I'm clicking here and here I am add it to search okay so this is added I am selecting it once I select it if you see this particular bit it's on 0 not on 1 ignore this 0.5 that is not uh, a valid thing for system check fail system particular metrics and if you see this is always 0 it means my physical system is healthy if you see this blank thing like up till here and from here to here that means instance was powered off that time because my instance was not running and uh, if it went to 1.0 somewhere it means at that time there was issue with my physical system and it will report this thing for only the time your instance is powered on for powered off you will not get stats because your instance may be on some different system at that time so that's the only reason and friends uh, that's a default one if you want to customize it that's again easy here click on custom here time zone is UTC if you want to change it to local time zone click here and uh, this is absolute data and these are minute hour day week you can customize it sorry this is relative data if you want absolute data click on absolute and here you can uh, do your start and end timings as I did on command line you can do it on graphical and click on apply it will list the data so that's easy thing and that's up to you which way you want to use both will lead to same destination basically so uh, that's it friends uh, if you think this is helpful for you just click like button if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thanks a lot friends bye bye